Welcome back. So we have already a method to create a line object, mText, circle, and arc. In this video, we're going to create a method called draw p line. This will draw a polyline object, a 2D polyline object. So let's get started. As usual, we have to define the doc as document equals application dot document manager that MDI active document dim db as database equals doc that database the editor as editor equals doc that edit editor next we need to uh, create a transaction using trans as transaction equals db the transaction manager that start transaction okay and next we need to create a try catch block and this one here we can just copy over All right, so let's create now the the code to create a new p line or a new 2D polyline. But first, uh, let's just provide a message to the user. Drawing a 2D polyline. And now we create our <coughs> block table. Let's call that as BT. That should be equal to uh, trans that get object DB that block table ID open mode that for read. We also define a block table record. BTR and that should be equal to transaction that get object and BT block table record that model space open mode for write all right now that we have all the needed variables we can start now to create the polyline object let's just provide here a comment so the the p line requires coordinates but before we can do that let us create a new variable called pl as new polyline and now we can start adding a vertex by the by using the advert vertex add method so different parameters are required here the first one is the index which is the the starting point of the coordinates and the point if you have a bulge and start with a double so depending on the the width of the polyline that you want to create in our case we just uh, make it all zero default zero no width no thickness so it's just a plain polyline so pl that add vertex add it should be start from zero and then new point 2d and you should specify the coordinates for the point for the vertex i mean and then just provide here a zero for the bulge zero for the width the start width and zero for the end width okay next 
next vertex so this is the second vertex new point 2d let's say this time let's make it a 10 10 0 0 0 so we can just copy this over let's create maybe five more vertex this will be the second one the third I mean and let's make this at 45 and the Y is 80 and this is the fourth vertex oops the, the fourth but since it start from zero so this is the fourth let's make this at 65 and 30 and the fifth vertex let's say <coughs> we raise it to 125 and 100 and the, the last vertex let's say 140 to 50 and that is uh, that is all we need for the polyline and of course you have to add or to append into our block table record and add into our transaction and of course commit the transaction okay so that's basically it for our polyline let me save uh, the project and do a build, rebuild. Okay, once succeeded, now we can try running it in AutoCAD. Let me open up AutoCAD here. Okay, let us load our project, our plugin. Click on always load. Now we should see the draw P line command. There you go. Here's our text and let's zoom extents. There is our polyline. Okay, so that's about it for the polyline object. give this a try do some different uh, coordinates for the vertices and see how it goes all right i'll see you in the next video